Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Kyle Riker, and I'm back at you with another video review. And this time, we'll be taking a look at the WE Basic Series 116 Dakota Kai. Yes, finally found this figure. It took me a while to actually find her. This was honestly one of the hardest women figures for me to find, period. Out of all my years of collecting, this one was a pain in the butt to track down. But luckily, I went to Target earlier this week, and surprisingly, they restocked uh, this series. And luckily they had one left, so I picked her up immediately. And this figure honestly surprised me. It's actually much better in person as I thought when I saw the pictures. But I'll get, but I'll get into that later on. But before we do so, let's take a look at the packaging first, as we always do. Anyways, we got a picture of Dakota Kai looking freaking very intimidating. Dakota Kai down there. Of course, at the top. First time in the line, which I always love seeing that on the packaging. Series 116, WB logo. On the back, we got the other figures in the set. We got Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens, Sheamus, Roderick Strong, and of course Dakota Kai. The only other, the only other figure I might get in this series is Sheamus because I kind because I need an updated Sheamus figure, or maybe I'll pass on it and just wait for the Elite Eighty Four. I already have Roderick Strong, which I never reviewed, but I still need to get the Chase variant of him. See, because I have the regular version, I still need to get the Chase version. But we'll see. If I ever if I ever do get the Chase version, I will do a double review of both versions of Roger Strong, so stay tuned for that. Anyways, that's about it for the packaging. So let's open up Dakota Kai and see if this figure is as underrated as I think. We'll be right back. Alright guys, so here we have Dakota Kai open up out of the packaging. And like I said in the beginning of the video, I definitely think this, I definitely think this figure is very underrated. It definitely surprised me. I was not expecting to like this figure as much as I do, but I honestly do. I think it's a pretty solid basic figure. Just like any figure, it does have a few problems, but I still think it's a pretty decent figure. And let's take a look. First up is the one reason why I was I wanted this figure, but at the same time didn't, and that was the face. So the face, I think, is excellent. When I first saw the pictures of this, I was like, eh, I'm not too sure. But in person, it's a really good head sculpt. I think it captures a very good likeness to Dakota Kai. If I compare it to the to the card back, I think it's really good. However, I, I do wish she looked a little bit more angry because this one's more like a blank expression. But as you see here on, on the card, she looks like angry, like she's about to freaking like destroy you, like beat the crap out of like Tegan Knox or whoever's in her way. But this one's just another blank expression. Like what is it with Mattel and blank expressions? It works sometimes, but other times it just looks, I don't know, it just looks boring. But it but it is really good. Then I apologize about the sunlight. But anyways, excellent sculpting on it as well, especially the hair. And also the eyelashes and her eyes as well. Like, excellent detail on that. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about the sunlight, guys. Anyways, it looks really good. Fortunately, as usual... Classic quality control, little smudge there. It's got the little point, uh, got her hair in like a little ponytail back there. She has the cap coated shirt, which I wish she did not have this. I mean, I like this shirt, and she has worn this quite a bit, but for her attire, I kind of wish she did not have this. I mean, it looks fine. It says cap coated on the front there. Nothing on the back, it's just plain. And the purple and silver attire, which once again, I do not like it when Mattel chooses silver because it usually fades away a lot. Anyways, black knee pads, standard black boots, and and unfortunately she has the same knee brace that the Tegan Knox figure from this from the previous series, series one fifteen had, except this one's white. Because I like this new knee brace mold, but at the same time I don't because it does not have a joint in here. Because the because uh, if you remember the older knee brace joints, well the older knee brace mold has a joint right here so when you bend the knee the knee brace moves with it as it showed in real life whereas this one if you bend the knee as you see it kind of bends the knee brace so you run the risk of breaking it so i really wish this new mold had the joint in there like so i love this new mold it looks like the newer knee braces they've been using lately but i wish they had the joint in there so why did they take that joint away i don't get that but other than that it's fine like I say, it's the same mold as the Tegan Knox one, except this one's white. So, not bad. And your standard black kick heads. 
So a pretty, pretty solid figure. Uh, for comparison, here she is with her former best friend and tag team partner, and now bitter rival, Tegan Knox from series 115 from the previous series. And they look awesome standing up next to each other. Like, like they definitely look like they can get into like a really bitter fight with each other. And it definitely, they definitely look great together as a tag team as well. And I love this feud, so I'm glad to have both of these figures in my collection. They look great. This one's definitely better than Tegan in terms of the in terms of the face scan, but in terms of the the outfit, Tegan's better because I think it pops more. Whereas this one is, no pun intended, but basic. I'm mean, seriously black shirt, black knee pads, black boots, whatever, <laughs> very basic, but it's still a pretty solid figure. Anyways, articulation is pretty much what to expect on a basic figure. I can rotate 360. Her hair d doesn't really get in the way, but at the same time, it kind of does. So definitely be worried about that. Arms, we rotate 360. They can go in and out. Bend at the elbow and rotate at the elbow. Swivel with the wrist. Thank God she doesn't have the closed fist or the open palm hands. Thank God they're starting to phase those out a little bit. Swivel at the waist. Since this is a basic, it doesn't have the upper torso, which one like the elites do. So swivel waist here. Legs forward about that far, which is a little disappointing because her because her big boot uh, that she does is actually much higher. So I wish it went further. And back to original position, they can go in and out, bend at the knee, and swivel at the boot. So not bad. So like I said, I wasn't expecting to like this figure as much as I do. Like I said, it has a couple of issues, but I still think it's pretty solid for a basic figure. So some quick final thoughts. Overall, I think this figure is definitely pretty solid. Like I said, it's not the greatest figure, but I do think it's very underrated. Like I said, it is a pretty solid basic figure. Like I said, I think it has a great head scan. I like the attire. I like the new uh, knee brace mold, except I wish it had the uh, the joint in there. But it's pretty solid. Like, like if my only real complaints with it is of course the, I wish the knee brace had a joint and the fact that she has the shirt painted on it. Like, I wish she had one of her outfits where she does not have this t-shirt. But aside from that, I think it's a pretty solid figure. Hopefully we see more figures of her at some point in the future, like maybe in Elite and maybe her more, like, colorful attires. I mean, I don't want to say colorful, but ones where it has, like, like designs all over it. Like, she has a purple attire that has, like, a bunch of crazy designs on it. So, like, I hope that we get attires like that in the future. But for what it is, I think it's a pretty solid basic figure. So I would say if you are a fan of Dakota Kai and you can find her online for a decent price, which she is pretty cheap online, or if you can find her in the store, which like I said, she was pretty tricky for me to find. Like I said, if you can find her or get her online, definitely pick her up if you can. I think it's a pretty solid figure. Like I said, it's not as bad as I was expecting. It definitely looks better in person because from the pictures, her head scan looked terrible. That head looked terrible in pictures. But in person, it looks great. So I would say pick her up if you can. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links down below. Be sure to get your official Kai Ricker merch on my store on bonfire.com. Link down below. And also, be sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you never miss a single upload. I upload new reviews every single Saturday right here on this channel. So be sure to hit the bell and, tap and hit the subscribe button so you never miss it. Anyway, so thanks for watching, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week. Take care, guys. Bye.